Some people build fences to keep people out, and other people build fences to keep people in. Hello everyone, welcome to my review of Fences, directed by Denzel Washington and written by the late great playwright August Wilson, also starring Denzel Washington and Viola Davis. This film is an film adaptation of the play Fences, written by August Wilson, who had passed away back in 2005. But before he had passed away, he had written a screenplay of his play with the specific intention of Denzel Washington starring in it. And this is very much that play on the big screen. And the play, as well as the film, is about Troy Maxson and Rose Maxson, who are a married African-American couple in the 1950s, and the play really deals with specifically their lives, their interactions with one another, as well as their family. This play is part of a series of plays that August Wilson wrote that deal with African-Americans as, as well as their families, and each play took place within a different decade within the 20th century, all the way from the 1910s to the 1990s. And this one specifically is contained in the 1950s. And this film is very much, like I said, the play on screen. It is a film filled with heavy, heavy dialogue, heavy, heavy monologues, a lot of back and forth between actors. But the main positive aspect of this film is the acting. This is very much a clinic of acting put on by Viola Davis and Denzel Washington. They are reprising their roles that they did on Broadway, so it is no surprise that they really know these characters well, and they bring it to the big screen extremely well. This is an impeccably well-acted film. I think Denzel Washington does a relatively good job with direction considered he is rather handcuffed by the format of the film because if you are familiar with plays or theatrical performances in the, of that nature you realize that they are not quite like films. Films are more visual, they're more sporadic, they're set in different places, a lot more things are happening. Plays are more dialogue heavy and they have been adapting plays to the big screen now for decades. Some of the best films in my opinion are plays put to screen. A film like 12 Angry Men is one of my favorite films of all time and I think it is amazing and that was based on a play and this film is really really good. The themes are very universal and they are very very timeless. The characters in this film are dealing with things we still deal with today. Things like family problems, things like relationship issues, relationships specifically between fathers and sons, husbands and wives, um, spouses in general. I believe that one of the biggest themes that you see in the film and the play Fences is the idea of isolation, specifically self-isolation, self-induced isolation, and what it does to the human person, how very self-destructive it can be. And that is really a huge aspect to this film. It's really, really interesting to see how August Wilson was able to incorporate so many timeless themes into this film and how Denzel was able to put all of this on screen. It is a heavy film thematically. I mean, it is layered upon layered. Um, specifically, the character that he portrays, Troy Maxson, is a very complex character. He is a man who's really stuck in his own world, stuck in his time, struggling within the changing world, struggling to really adapt to it in any way. And I think we see that today. A lot of the older generation really has not adapted to the changing of the times. And it is very interesting that this play takes place in the 1950s, really right before a decade of huge social change in the 1960s. It was a very, very interesting time, the 1960s. I'm, I'm assuming many of you know from history. If you don't, look it, look it up, because it is one of the most interesting times, I think, in world history, in American history, in culture in general. And 
It's interesting that this play takes place right before that, and we have this character who is so stuck in his ways, and it's really interesting to see that. Also, he is a very morally gray character. He is a character who is not necessarily positive. He's not very much a a guy you want to root for or someone you want to be sympathetic to or empathize with or anything like that. He is very complex and the film deals with a lot of complexities and it really shows the complexities that they are in life. Things aren't black and white. The world is gray and in essentially we just have to perhaps except that the world is what it is, and things are the way they are. It is very interesting social commentary in this play, in this film. And while Denzel Washington is phenomenal in that role, Viola Davis is very much his counterpart, is very much his equal when it comes to on-screen presence and performance. I am really, really hoping that she wins as many awards as she can during this season, because... Her performance is staggeringly good. Like I said, the acting in this film is extraordinary. The rapport really all of the characters have with one another is fantastic. And Viola Davis, who is portraying someone with a lot of conflict and a lot of complexities within her, she portrays a very real character in my opinion. Very real in the sense like you don't believe this is an actress portraying a role. You believe that this is an actual person. That is one of the strengths of acting, in my opinion. When I, as a viewer, can no longer see the actor or actress in their role, and I can see just their character existing as if it was reality, the best evaluation of acting that I can have. But, like I've said, it is a film that is very much handcuffed by its medium or the translation of from one medium to another because there is only so much you can do with a play adaptation to screen and I and a lot of people have echoed this in their reviews uh, at least the ones that I've seen that the film does feel very stagey the film mostly takes place either in a backyard or in the house that this couple lives in so you're really tied down to those two places so you don't get a lot of movement when it comes to the aesthetics or a lot of movement when it comes to really um, the action in the film or the actions in the film when it comes to the plot. So the film is very dialogue heavy and if you are familiar with dialogue heavy films, they do feel longer than more traditional films because there's not much going on, there's kind of just here. and. Specifically, the way the film is shot, it is shot very similar to the way you would shoot a play. You know, it's a, it's a two-shot with two people in the frame talking with one another. Not a lot of um, coverage or shot reverse shot. It's mostly shot like a play. There is some of those typical filmmaking techniques in there, the shot reverse shot, but not a lot of it. And it really shows the limitations you can do with the film. And that is one of the negatives of the film, but I would say I rather enjoyed that aspect of it because, like I've said before, I do like plays that translate to screen. I do enjoy watching them. I like good dialogue, and this film has impeccably great dialogue in it. I can't stress that enough. With all that being said, I'm going to give this film a 4 out of 5 stars. Like I said, the acting is impeccably strong, the direction is relatively solid for the medium in which it is translating from, and I have to say, I really liked the heavy thematic work in this film. This has been my review of Fences, directed by Denzel Washington, based on the play and screenplay written by August Wilson, also starring Denzel Washington and Viola Davis. If you like this video, please check out my other movie reviews, as well as the various episode reviews that I do for the various comic book television series.